hello everyone and welcome to Monday's late edition of Reptile News. Now we're going to start off in Colorado where a 14 year old boy, I'm not going to give his name because he's 14 years old, but him and his mother were walking through a nature preserve and saw a snake and, and the boy immediately told to his mother he didn't believe that the snake belonged there and wasn't good to be there. They contacted the Colorado Reptile Humane Society and sent them a picture and it turned out to be a carpet python. He was absolutely right. It of course did not belong there. The Humane Society took possession of the snake and they are going to hold it for a certain amount of time and unless somebody claims it it will be adopted thereafter and here's kind of some exciting uh, scientific news scientists are saying that pit vipers that they found out that pit vipers uh, can actually have virgin birth now they discovered this in a boa not long ago and they did have a, a copperhead that they talked about how they hold back the sperm for a certain amount of time they talk about a copperhead that they had that had a litter in 2009 the problem was it hadn't been with another snake in five years so that's a uh, pretty awesome news still got to read more about the story before we talk about it too much more but uh, it's pretty awesome and now let's talk about PETA oh do we have to Laura Van Vander Voort, 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 Vander Voort, whatever. Uh, many of you may remember from Smallville is actually the latest person again to pose nude painted as a reptile for PETA. Yeah, that's not really news, but for some of you it's interesting pictures, so there is an entire gallery of Laura on the website. Go check it out. I think some of you might like it. And it's super happy fun time news. A former Oakdale snake farm operator has pleaded guilty to cruelty to animals. The Louisiana Department of Wildlife said that sheriff deputies served a warrant at David Bukeman, Bukeman, it's in the description, um, at his home and on a report that a dog that had been turned over to their rescue was spotted for sale on Craigslist. After sheriff deputies served the warrant, they eventually were charged with 22 counts of keeping pythons over 12 feet in length, which is not legal there. Now, of course, last September they failed to show up at their court hearing, so the wife has not been found yet, but David was arrested in Texas, making him our douchebag of the day for breaking wildlife laws and then running from them. Shame, shame, shame. God, I hate getting stories that I talked about three weeks ago. So that has been all your news for this Monday. If you'd like to read any more about these stories, that link's right down below here in the description. Start secret phrase. And if you're still watching, my name is Jason White. Now you know what's going on in the reptile world. Be good to each other. End secret phrase. And we'll see you on Wednesday.